In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We are in the 28th week of the ordinary time, and today we reflect on Thursday's Gospel, Gospel of Luke chapter 11, verses from 47 to 54. My dear friends, yesterday and today's Gospel are taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, where we see Jesus is condemning the Pharisees. O to the Pharisees, scribes, and Jesus makes this condemnation against the Pharisees for the hypocrisy and duplicity of their social as well as spiritual life. Today's context of the Gospel, we see that, as I mentioned, God is, Jesus is condemning the exterior duplicity of the scribes and Pharisees, wherein they try to give a false image themselves before God and before people, which God dislikes. And that is the reason where we see God always sees the interior part of man, not the exterior. But always man wants to give a good image of himself and therefore he focuses most of his attention on the external part of his life. But that is not the case with our spirituality. Spirituality always emerges from within ourselves. Reason, God lives in the depth of man's heart. And therefore, God wants our heart to be more pure. Our righteousness before God is more important than projecting a fake personality before God and before people, which God will not like and respect us. The scribes and Pharisees today had a very beautiful opportunity which they have failed. While Jesus condemning, he said, O to you Pharisees and scribes. While pointing out this, Jesus gives an opportunity for the scribes and Pharisees to correct themselves, pointing out their mistakes, pointing out their weakness, pointing out their hypocrisy. Jesus gives once again an opportunity for the scribes as well as the Pharisees to correct their life. But we see the scribes and Pharisees they go the other way. They justify their behavior. They justify their hypocrisy and they become more offensive. They defend their mistake. And that's why at the end of the gospel we see that they are trying to plot against Jesus. They want to trap him by his very words and therefore they were asking many more questions to trap them. Look at the way how these Pharisees and scribes have failed an opportunity given by Christ. Jesus gave a lot of teachings for us. For example, the Sermon on the Mountain is one way God is giving as a guidelines principle for right Christian living. And we know that every one of us have mistakes. We are our own weakness, but God is very generous, He is very merciful, and He keeps on giving an opportunity for us to come out of it. But it is left to us to make use of that opportunities. What was failed by the Pharisees and scribes, today let us not fail it. Let us make use of an opportunity when someone, our parents, our teachers, our priests, sisters, our elders, our friends, who in good will come and correct us, point our mistake in our life. Let us not behave like the Pharisees who try to defend, who try to justify. But in our humility, let us accept that we are weak, that I have done mistake. I too have a lot of failures in my life. I too have a need for correcting myself. We should give more room for ourselves so that the change may happen within us and the best may come out of it and we are righteous before God. So my dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel is a golden opportunity for all of us to keep our mind, our heart open in all humility to take correction. Today's people don't like someone correcting them. We don't like an advice from elders. We think we know everything. That is 
a stumbling block for each one of us who are not ready to change. But good things can happen only when we are ready to change, when we are ready to accept corrections. Today Jesus comes in different form, wants to influence our life with positive thoughts, positive way of thinking so that we are set right before God. And for that, let us be open for learning. Let us be open for correcting ourselves. Let us accept in all humility the providence that God gives, the opportunity that God is giving us through our friends, our neighbors, our parents. In different way, God is inspiring us. God is giving us a way to correct our weakness and perfect our life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, I wish you all a good day and God bless you.